What's up everybody? Long time no see. Today I want to talk to you about a couple new products that we are going to bring to you. Uh, first one, some of you may have already seen this, is we call it the high quality H2O holder. It's clean. It's cold. And that's what I call high quality H2O. Now what this is, is uh, a water bottle holder for your saddle and it's quite large, it's 32 ounces. So for comparison, here's one of those big Arizona cans. Uh, this is 23 ounces, and it completely fits in there and there's still room. So for you guys that have larger water bottles, you can bring it with you. Uh, the back is the same design that we had on the phone pouch. So you can stick it through um, the webbing and tie it back to itself, much like we had on the foam pouches, right? I had a video about that earlier. Point being is once you put it onto the saddle, it stays tight and won't come off. The webbing of the saddle will, will come through this, this section right here. Um, it's also got a little cinch strap right here. So if your water bottle is a little bit too small, you just tighten it up like that. And hold it a little tighter and then just you know open it so there it is there's the uh the monkey beaver h2o holder um if you've got this this will hold for two inch webbing so if your saddle has a spot for a, uh, a slot that is about two inches of webbing this will fit in there quite nicely so that's the high quality monkey beaver h2o holder um, we are now selling ISC squirrel tethers and also the rope wrenches. So if you guys are doing single rope, we do sell this now, but we can get these on monkeybeaver.com. Now, something brand new that I want to talk about. Is this new monkey beaver rope bag. Joe Boyd's been developing this for a little while now and it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so the idea is it's got this strap here so that you can put it around your waist like so tie it on put it on tight like that so now you have this bag in front of you available to put the rope into the bag and then when you're done you can you can cinch the sides put this part cinch the sides down and it holds it tight there's a clip here to hold the top so the top won't want to come apart or if you have a smaller amount of rope this is uh this is a 30 inch bag this will hold a 200 foot rope but if you have a little bit less rope in there you can roll the top like so and clip it down and pull it tight like that right just like that so as an example here here's one with 150 feet of rope in it that's been cinched down right and you've got a grab handle once it's uh once it's all tucked away and a little floating D here. So you can even attach this to your saddle on your back on your side, however you want to do it. Um, and, uh, to get the rope off, unclip that, lift it up, open this up and there's your rope. So this is the monkey beaver rope bag. have yet to determine a cost, but it'll be similar to our other rope bags that we already have. But this one just has a little bit more, uh, a little bit more use out of it. As Joe says, he's never been able to uh, 
put so much rope in a bag and have it tucked down so tightly before it stows away quite nice. So anyways, yeah, there's the new Monkey Beaver rope bag. This will be available very soon on monkeybeaver.com. We've been wrecking a few things with Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, do you guys want to see some footage of that? I bet you do. There's one over there, but... Are you ready? Why oh, do you want me to film? Okay. <laughs> Did it break? Nope. Well, something else broke. Yeah, it broke because. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, see, it, it folded back on itself. I see. So the, first, the top link broke at 1672, and so now we've got it hooked on the next strong link back. Let's we'll see what that breaks at. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. Look at all these pieces in here. Just shrapnel. Oh, I think your grade eight bolt broke. <laughs> grade eight bolt? Yeah. Theoretically, they should be weaker and weaker because they're, they've been yeah. put through so much. Mm -hmm. It's stressed every time. Uh, I figure it'll probably be about like the last yeah, there one. You go. Oh no. Is it broken? Nothing's broken. I don't I don't it got hit somewhere. Oh it got oh, it, it, it got it. hit on this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it didn't get hit on the lens. Is there s there's there a bus on the back or anything? Are you guys okay? <laughs> Man. Real seeking. What about the back screen? It's fine. It's, it's in perfect shape. Good job, YouTube. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. This is one of our Speedline slings currently. It's good for 7,000. Yeah, we did just use it on that zigzag though, and it started mm -hmm. to show some. We've harmed it a little bit. But so we've got it doubled. And so by popular demand or by request, put it that way, somebody wants to see what the, one of these quick links, the quickies breaks at. This is a 30KN device. Yeah, this is a few years old. I think it's version uh, but 3 it's barely that they have out now, but this is probably version 1. Mm -hmm. So that's close to 7,000 pound breaking strength, which is what this is, but this is doubled. Yeah, it's 6750. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see. We're expecting to bend this pin I think but I don't know a webbing sling across the whole diameter is gonna make that as strong as it can be yeah that ain't a rope going through it yeah the webbing I'm gonna have my ears plugged when this thing breaks <laughs> good luck over there Evan <laughs> Busted. The sling's busted. Is it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's been there. Look at that. So it's bending it. So well, it's already done more than it was supposed to. So because it has a breaking strength of seven thousand. Yeah, we already did. We, we went way past it. Almost 9,000. And it's just bent. So yeah. those quick quickie links are tough. That is fair, yeah. enough, fair enough, yeah. So now let's see if we give it, will it take another eight? Or will it break, or will it come out of there before it gets to eight? Yeah. <laughs> 
that hard round <laughs> radius of that shackle pin is going to be a lot meaner. Yep. Thousand five hundred. We're at ten thousand five hundred. <laughs> it didn't move. It didn't move. No, it stayed there. Okay. So I think you actually hit the peak and then it backed off. Yeah. It probably hadn't climbed up to that point yet, and then it broke. It impacted this. <laughs> it impacted the witch, the sherpa. Yeah. Thing I saw. <laughs> Action right there. Do you see parts? You wouldn't want to stand on the other side of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it's, it is. It's warm. It's not hot. It's not like it's Edward's or Ken's. Oh yeah, it busted the little pins and then yeah. it came out. Yeah, so it bent those backwards. So this this is a one, one directional and now it's two mm, directional. There actually is two pins right here. And this one's just kind of boogered up. Two directional pin. Good job, Quickie. Well, that's pretty faith inspiring. But then it's stronger overall. Would you say 10,000 something? 10,000. 10,000. 10,5. No one's going to do that to it. Are you SRT? You're going to be really hurt. You're safe. Yeah. Just do what you want. <laughs> do what you want. Yeah. New coat wreck. Yeah. We're hanging uh, our soft shackles up. Exactly. Put it on the wall. So since we were filming some uh, some carnage on Wreck It Ralph today, I figured it'd be a good video to uh, input some of my own carnage that happened to me this weekend. Happened to my car. Um, Damien Damien was with me when it happened. I'm not gonna explain how it happened. Um, but just the fact that it did. So, anyways, if you want to see more broken stuff, just keep watching. Uh, I realized that I took the video, like, vertically, so it's not really the best video, but, but, for those who are interested, just, just keep watching. So the car did exactly what I thought it would do. It threw a rocker arm. Destroyed it. Look, there's a shim. <clears throat> Looks like both shims took off. Where's the other one? Let's see, there's damage to this cam over right here, too. Damage there, scarred it up. That took a hard dent right there, look. Dunk, dunk, dunk. It's supposed to look like, like that. You know? This is in the back side, but it decided to leave. Now there's one more, oh, there it is. Another piece. There it is.
and that's what happens when you over rev an SR20 without a rev limiter. Dang it. So it looks like I'll need rocker arm, maybe shims, and cams. And so if I do cams, I'll probably might as well upgrade and get a tune while I'm at it. But we'll see how long this thing sits before I do that. <laughs> 